The Battle of Mecca was the first in a series of events that I believe was the most significant event of the 20th century, the Arab Revolt. I know that may sound like a bold claim, but I think you'll agree with me once you've finished watching the series about the Arab Revolt, especially the video dedicated to this subject that I have posted it on my channel. In the middle of World War I, the British forces in Mesopotamia suffered heavy casualties and were defeated in the Siege of Kut by the Ottoman forces, who were supported by Arab tribes in Iraq. You can watch my videos on the events in Iraq during World War I to learn more. So the British, with their well-known divide-and-conquer strategy, encouraged and supported the revolt, which began in Mecca. The British hoped that the revolt would weaken the Ottoman Empire and open a new front against them, we will now discuss the first battle in this revolt. The events leading up to the Battle of Mecca began with the McMahon Hussein correspondence, a series of letters exchanged between Sir Henry McMahon, the British High Commissioner in Egypt, and Hussein bin Ali, the Sharif of Mecca, from 1915 to 1916. In these letters, the British promised to support the establishment of an independent Arab state in the Middle East, from the border of Aden in the south to the city of Aleppo in the north, in exchange for Hussein's support for the British war effort against the Ottoman Empire. In early June 1916, most of the Ottoman army had left Mecca to accompany Khalid Pasha, the governor of Hijaz, to Taif, a hill station near Mecca. Only 1,000 men were left to defend the city. On the morning of June 10, the Sharif of Mecca, Hussein bin Ali, fired a shot into the air from the window of the Hashemite palace, signaling the beginning of the Arab revolt. His 5,000 supporters then attacked the Turkish troops in three fortresses overlooking the holy city and at the Jirwal barracks on Jeddah Road. The attack was sudden and the acting commanding officer of the Turkish forces was unaware that a revolt had started. As the Sharifs and the Ottoman banners were of the same color, he could not tell the difference between the two sides. He telephoned Hussein and was told the reason for the attack and was ordered by Hussein to surrender. The Turkish commander refused. The battle raged for three weeks. On the first day, the Arab forces captured Bashkarakal, a fort located at the Safa corner adjacent to the Masjid al-Haram. On the second day, they captured Hamidia, the Ottoman government office, and the deputy governor. The deputy governor then ordered his remaining troops to surrender, but they refused. The battle reached a stalemate. Sir Reginald Wingate sent two artillery pieces from Sudan via Jeddah, along with trained Egyptian gunners. The artillery pieces breached the walls of the Turkish fort, and the Sharifine army attacked. The defenders were defeated, and the Jermal barracks capitulated on July 4, 1916, after three weeks of stubborn resistance. The Ottoman commander was killed in the fighting. The capture of Mecca was a major victory for the Arab revolt and a turning point in the war. It showed that the Arabs were capable of fighting for their own independence and that the Ottoman Empire was not invincible. The Battle of Mecca was a significant victory for the Arab revolt, but it came at a high cost. The city of Mecca was heavily damaged, and many people were killed or wounded. However, the victory helped to galvanize support for the rebel cause, and it ultimately led to the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in the Middle East. The Battle of Mecca was a turning point in the history of the Middle East. It marked the beginning of the end of the Ottoman Empire and the rise of the Hashemite Kingdom of Hejaz, which eventually expanded northward. The battle also left deep scars in the region, as Arab states came under strong European influence.